Hi friends, in this video I am going to give you one good example when to use fixed L body calculation. So here we have uh, sum of sales by customer ID and shipping mode. So we are going to highlight if first, first, sales, uh, first class sales is greater than standard class sales. For example for AB1006 uh, we will highlight this customer. Okay. Mm because it's a uh, it's first class sales is greater than standard class so i will explain in multiple steps so you may think that we can write if condition and uh, get the first class sales in one calculation and compare with the second class sales calculation just by using um, if condition so let's see what happens if we just use if condition without fixed l body so i'm going to get uh, first class sales in this calculation first class Sum of if ship mode is equal to first class then sales okay so duplicate the same calculation and edit to get standard class so change it as standard standard class rename the calculation so now we have a first class and second class sales so let me drag this calculation to the rows first class discrete format to show only zero decimals so we are getting first class sales correctly our calculation is working fine okay now let me drag second class sales right click and choose discrete sorry it's um, standard class we were our requirement is to choose uh, standard class so there is typo standard okay now it's correct click ok right click on format to show the number with zero decimals okay now we have standard class value so if you see here we have first class value in one row and the second class value in uh, another row so if you write a calculation to compare uh, to find which uh, is greater first class greater than standard class so let me write the same condition here first class greater than standard class sales and click ok now if you, if you see the result you won't get anything because you are comparing the first row record with the second row record and that is not uh, possible so you are not getting any output you are not getting either true or false you the calculation is returning only null so that's why if you change this calculation to fix to customer id then see what happens so now i am converting this calculation to fixed l body okay fixed customer id and we want sum of sales so what does fixed do fixed will not consider uh, whatever uh, the dimensions are present in the view it only consider the uh, fixed dimension that you have given in the uh, calculation for suppose here we have given fixed customer id so irrespective of ship mode it will calculate uh, sum of sales for and inside we have the if condition so it will take the value only for the first class and returns the 
customer ID uh, sum of sales if you click OK now if you see we have the sum of sales repeated the same value for all the three records present for the customer okay 235 235 uh, earlier we were having only in the 235 only for the first class but now the same value is repeated for all the three records similarly change the standard class calculation to fixed LOD fixed customer ID and we need sum of sales then click OK um, now if you see uh, we have 308 uh, which is the standard sales is coming for all the three records of this customer so this is the actual value 308 so this is repeating for so now if you compare the first class and second class we will get the output because it's um, now, now the value is not coming in uh, just uh, at the standard class this value is coming at the first class also okay so now we are getting true or false if I drag this one and drop it in the color, you can see we are highlighting the true values. Let's stay with the true, give green color and false and null in the one same color. So now um, we are highlighting where the first class values are greater than standard class. So if you see here, uh, the two numbers are highlighted including the standard class we just want to highlight the highest number in the first class okay so we'll make use of the first uh, function so let me explain you the first function first function returns the row number so returns the row number from the current row to the current row first row in the partition okay let me explain with example let me drag this one to the rows right click and choose discrete so here we have the records two records for the customer this customer so it returns 0 minus 1 and it's it continuously um, go from 0 to negative values all the way to the negative we have uh, minus two zero double four we want this calculation to restart for every customer because we want to highlight uh, the first class for each customer not overall so right click and edit table calculation choose specific dimensions and restart this calculation for every customer id okay so if you see here the customer uh, has three records first class second class third class so it's the numbering is done 0 minus 1 2 so if it is equal to 0 then we get the first class okay so just try add this condition to the if first class first equal to zero then and this same, same condition then return one else zero in click ok now now this turns into a table calculation you need to right click and edit table calculation choose customer id and chip mode and restart the calculation for every customer id so now just uh, double click to change the color i'm going to assign green to one okay, click ok now let me remove all the extra calculations we did okay so now we just have the data we need so if you see here the first class sales 874 is greater than 13 so in this case for this customer first class sales is 235 and standard class is 308 which is lesser than um, standard class so this value is not highlighted 
so first class is highlighted here first class is highlighted here since it's greater than standard class so i hope uh, this video is very helpful to you to understand uh, the when to use uh, fixed tail body and also about explained about the first function so thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel